Okay guys, good morning. Yeah, White Woodworker here with you again. I will show you today what I thought I was showing you yesterday. This is the completed new face frame here. 31 inches wide by 33 inches high. And you add the three inch to the toe, toe kit, that'll make a 36 inch cabinet. And I have taken the back side and routed out the grooves that need to be in it. And where there's not grooves and I need to put a board, I will be using uh, pocket hole screws. Now what I've set up for here is to cut my first side that I need to cut. It's uh, 31 inches, uh, excuse me, 36 inches tall by 20 point five yeah 20.5 inches wide you take your three quarter inch face frame duck the quarter inch off of that so that's a half inch so if I cut this 20.5 inches in the half inch of the frame that'll give me my 21 inch depth that I'm looking for now you've all seen wood cuts you don't need to watch me cut this is my uh, homemade saw jig here that I got it worked kind of like a high dollar festool uh, plate does, but it didn't cost me but a couple of pieces of plywood. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this part of the filming, cut this side, cut the other side, cut the toe kick out, set up, I'll cut the groove in it, and then the back side I'll cut the grooves in the side for the back to fit into. And when I've got all that done and uh, got it attached to the face frame, I'll come back and show you what I've done. So I'll be back with you shortly. All right, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs> Happy camper. I got my wood cut out for my sides. I got my tongues cut in both sides. And look at here. Cut those grooves just as slick and clean as can be. That's the way it's supposed to be, guys. Not all splintery. Now, two things I want to talk about. One, I made sure that I was, I cut my wood so when I cut these grooves, I would be cutting with the grain and not cross grain. Secondly, one of my readers said that, uh, my viewers said that I should put blue tape down on it to help cut down on the chipping. I don't know if that helped. It certainly didn't hurt, but I did put blue tape down. But I think the fact that I'm running with the grain and not cross grain is, is why I got the clean cut. But again, uh, for the fellow that told me that, I thank you much for that uh, suggestion. Uh, the blue tape surely didn't hurt, but I got very clean uh, cuts here, just as clean as can be. So the next thing is to set these into the uh, face frame and uh, glue those up. And uh, we'll come back with you when that's done. I'm officially wireless. No cords out here to tangle up and fall over. Hopefully this thing will work and you'll be able to understand me. Where I'm at right now is I've got uh, these side pieces glued up. The glue is set get these clamps off. The next thing to do is to measure, cut, and uh, put, there you go, knock it down. Uh, measure, cut, and put the uh, bottom piece in. And uh, after I've done that, I'll put the back on. And once I've got the back on, then we can stand this thing up and start working, working on the front of the cabinet. At least that's the scenario I plan on taking. But, uh, put these right angles in here to make sure that my cabinet glued up. When it glued up, it glued up at uh, 90 degrees. 
to the uh, face frame and looks like that's done successfully. Using the little assortments of squares and tri-squares and everything that I have. Let's do a quick check here. Well, yep. Yep, yeah, kick another one down, James, while you had it. Nothing like kicking a guy while he's down. Okay, fellas, well, here's what I need to do. I need to uh, measure my uh, bottom piece of the cabinet that goes in here, or the, the piece that will form the bottom of the cabinet, and get that put in. And then uh, I'll get this back piece measured and get it put in. So we will pause the filming for the moment. I got the garage door down because if you've been following the news, Houston has been getting inundated, the Houston area, I'm south of Houston, has been getting inundated here with the rain and flood waters and the whole north part of Houston is underwater. Uh, we just come down Highway 6, it runs near our development and uh, it's not underwater yet but it won't take a whole lot more for it to be. So. Hopefully we're set for the next two or three days and we won't have to go out in case it does flood. But anyhow, that has nothing to do with me building my cabinet, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video for, the, for now. And uh, we'll come back and uh, show you what I've done after I've cut these other pieces. Talk to you in a little bit. Well, I don't know what's going on, people. I'll try this one more time. My camera just decided it wanted to quit again. I might have to send this puppy back. It does that from time to time. Anyhow, as I was saying, uh, we had a fairly good day today. Started from scratch, got the face frame built. Well, the face frame was built yesterday. I got the uh, sides on, I got the bottom in, and I got the back on. And everything's fitting pretty good. So, uh, Tomorrow I will put the uh, piece that, uh, this isn't the piece, but I have a piece that's going to go in here or something like this, and I'll cut out the openings for my drawers, and uh, then I also have another piece that goes right here, which is a divider between the drawers and the open part of the cabinet. Uh, I'll have three drawers on this side and the drawer slides. The drawer slides will attach to this piece of wood and I'll have to put a filler piece in here for the other drawer slides. Then on this side, halfway down, I'm going to build a shelf. But uh, it's coming together. It's getting up. Uh, after a kind of a stupid start up on my part for whatever reason, the Lord only knows. But uh, if it's not storming too bad, that's why I'm trying to quit now because it's rumbling and bumbling out there pretty good. And uh, I see I'm not even in the frame. Hello there. <laughs> Anyhow, you don't need to see my ugly face. Uh, <laughs> it's storming pretty good. I'm going to get this all cleared up and cleaned up and swept up and put away so I can get my car back inside before it gets real bad. So for now, this is the DIY Woodworker. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Have a nice day. Hi right, guys. Well, I'm sitting at the computer. I have just uh, reviewed my videos that I made today. And in the second clip, no, the third clip of the videos, I announced my new wireless mic and how happy I was to have it and it seemed to be doing okay and then in the fourth clip the last clip it sounded terrible so I don't know uh, I probably am going to have to play around with the volume levels on it a couple of times to see if I can get it to where it's just right but this is a pile pileaudio.com a PDWM 96 professional lavalier wireless microphone system now folks this thing cost all of 26 27 dollars now when you if you've looked for wireless microphones you will know that that's about one tenth of what most of them go for most of them I looked at in the two three four on way on up in the six seven hundred dollar range which was just totally out of the ballpark for me but uh, 
when I saw this, I thought, well, for $27, I'll give it a try. It's Amazon.com, and I got to checking out, and my total bill was $30-something with tax and shipping and all that, and I thought, well, okay. And then I looked up, and uh, I had some sort of a credits for $26, $27, $24, whatever the credit amount was. My remaining balance was $7, so... I figure for seven dollars you can't go wrong I'm going to uh, like I said play with the audio levels on my next couple of videos hopefully I can get the adjustments just right to where you don't get that echo down in the barrel type thing that last uh, video was that last clip I do apologize for that I hope you're able to uh, at least halfway understand what I was saying but uh, if not, hang in there. It'll either get better or I'll throw the darn thing away. Well, I won't throw it away. I'll send it back to Amazon. That's the good thing about buying stuff from Amazon. If it don't work and you got a problem with it, send it back. And if it's a legit problem, no arguments. So, anyhow, just thought I would uh, add this little clip on to the end. I thank you again for watching my videos. Of those of you that do watch and those of you that have subscribed to my channel, I thank you and I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, I would appreciate it if you would. So that's it. Uh, I just wanted to add this little explanation about my microphone and uh, let you know that it's not the world's best, but it is wireless and it does keep me from tripping over wires. Right now I am using the wired mic that I had previously which works just great if it wasn't for this cord it keeps getting underfoot so for now this is the DIY woodworker and we will talk again with you soon